These are the best FM23 wonder kids. And they've got a point to prove. Cristiano Ronaldo said that young players in the modern game don't care enough and lack hunger. Well, I think he's wrong. So what's the challenge? Ronaldo won his first Premier League title in his fourth season at the club. But I think these players can do even better. We've got three seasons to try and win the Premier League. In these three seasons, we're going to be looking at the performances and the ability growth of these wonder kids, as well as the big question. Can they win the Premier League? Let's find out. Let's first have a closer look at the squad. These players were selected based on two factors. They needed to be 20 years or younger and have the highest current ability in their position, because we need them to perform now. To give the team the best chance to perform, I'm using the highest rated tactic on FM base at the time of recording. The 4 2 3 1 simple positive headache. Owen Ronaldo? He's still at Man U, so we'll check in with him to see if he's still got the hunger to play at the highest level. So let's not waste any more time. Let's see how the Wonder Kids will perform in their first season in the Premier League. Season 1 is done, and you know what? I'm pretty happy. A 4th place finish means that the Wonder Kids will get Champions League football next season. The most important thing for the first season is that the Wonder Kids are developing quite nicely. An average growth of 5.12 in current ability. And we've had some real growth spurts in the squad. Musiala's current ability grew with 12 points in the first season. But he wasn't even our fastest grower. Bazunu, our goalkeeper, surprisingly grew by 14 points. But the one who went above and beyond was Kamavinga, growing by a staggering 16 current ability points. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows though. Bellingham disappointedly stayed at the same current ability rating. The same goes for Guardio, expecting more from these boys. I do also want to highlight Ansu Fati. 27 goals in his first season in the Premier League from the striking position. That's some unheard of numbers. But if we look at Ronaldo's first season in the Premier League, he managed a third place finish, as well as an FA Cup trophy. Ronaldo wins the first round of this challenge. Let's hope that season 2 and the experience of Champions League football brings our Wonder Kids to the next level and hopefully gets us our first trophy. Now that's what I call improvement. A second place finish, two semi-finals and our very first trophy in the EFL Cup. And Ronaldo in his second season? Only a third place finish and no trophies to speak of? The Wonder Kids take home this round. Another solid season of growth as well, with an average increase of 3.56 in current ability. A bit less than the previous season, but a lot of our players are starting to reach that elite level. The best example of this is Jamal Musiala, growing an amazing 12 points again. This man is ready to take on the world. But we can't get too ahead of ourselves. We still have that Premier League title to win, and we have only one season left. That means it's time for some hard decisions. Players that are just not growing are gonna get shipped out of the team. That means Guario, Nuno Mendes, Bellingham, you're out. Nyanzu, Udogi and Gavi have been some of the fastest growers in the team. So I hope they can take us to the next level and bring us to the Premier League glory. One season left to try and prove Ronaldo wrong. Tap that like button if you think these wonder kids can beat the odds. The final season is done and we finished in... First place, they've only gone and done it. <laughs> he even got so mad he retired. I can't be much prouder of the boys. An average growth of 1.96 in current ability is a bit down from last year, but a Premier League trophy helps me wipe away those tears. But don't get me wrong, we've had some amazing wonder kids reach elite levels. Let's have a look at the three most improved players. And the player who grew the most was a surprise to me. The bronze medal goes to Gavi, a brilliant tactician who replaced Bellingham in the team for the final season and took us to Premier League glory. Across the three seasons, he grew an amazing 30 points in current ability. Second place goes to Kamavinga, a world-class ball-winning midfielder who would do well in any team in the world. He grew, over the three seasons, an amazing 32 points in current ability. But the first place goes to a player with the same current ability growth as Kamavinga, but edged out on sheer surprise factor, Tangi Nianzu, a mere substitute for us in the first season. This guy overcame the odds and became a rock solid defender that took us to the Premier League title. He is the definitive proof that Ronaldo can take his comments about young players 
and take him with him into retirement. Now if proving Ronaldo wrong isn't enough for you, check out this video for another amazing football manager challenge. I'll see you on the next video.